one. Casa Fiore's Cucina. Let's build a better bruschetta. Ciao and welcome back to Casa Fiore's Cucina. Bruschetta is like a sauce. Everybody has their own way to make this classic dish. Through years of trial and error, this is how we make bruschetta here at Casa Fiore's Cucina. Great bruschetta should reek of the heavenly aroma of its very simple ingredients. Great bread with a little char, really good olive oil, garlic, aromatic basil, and of course, beautiful tomatoes. This method unlocks all of those aromatic wonders. Let's go start with those tomatoes, shall we? Striped German. Celebrity. Brandy wine. Jean Flame. <laughs> Costoluto Genovese. Mm. Ananas Noir. Beaver Lodge Slicer. Momotoro. It's peak tomato season, and I'm picking what's ripe today. Now, don't you worry if you don't have your own tomato jungle like I do. Go to the store. There's specialty heirloom tomatoes at markets and stores right now. Even in the winter, you can find some pretty good heirloom tomatoes. Splurge a little. The tomatoes are so important to this dish. We've got them all chopped up very coarsely. I include all the juices, cause why not? Let's make this super luscious. So now we're going to rip our basil leaves. You don't have to cut it, just rip it. By ripping and uh, pushing on the basil leaves, it gives off the aromas and the flavors. So then we're gonna mix it all together. So it can, all the flavors can marinate. Another tip, don't be, don't be stingy on the basil. You want a sturdy foundation for your bruschetta. So find some excellent bread and we're gonna grill it on the barbecue. So we're looking for a little bit of char. That's gonna add a whole nother flavor dimension whole nother flavor dimension. You don't want to burn it too much, but you do want a little bit of char. It's roasty, it's toasty, it's fresh out of the grill. Now we're gonna rub some garlic on top. And also, don't be stingy with this also. He's sometimes stingy. Can't be stingy. Garlic's the best part. <laughs> don't forget, don't just put it in the middle. Put it over here as well, so then every bite has garlic in it. Ooh, that garlic, it's potent fresh raisin and brilliant and now we're gonna drizzle with a generous amount of very good olive oil again do not skimp do not skimp don't be stingy are you ready for the tomatoes here we go oh, 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 oh. you're gonna top it oh with beautiful tomatoes and basil and then you're gonna dust it with a good deal of coarse kosher salt or malden salt don't be what? Don't be stingy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's check it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh my God. How do we do? I think it's better than usual. Mm -hmm. I think you really hit it hard with that garlic. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Mm. How do you build a better bruschetta? I'd love to know. Put your ideas in the comments. Be kind of cool. Until another episode of Casa Fiori's Cucina. Ciao. 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 Hashtag don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. <laughs> okay, can we acknowledge 
This is like the perfect tomato. Like it looks like the t tomato emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to put that in. But I mean. It's almost as good as the digital version. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>